So I would assert the value that the statement of how much it actually multiplies by is um, 24, as well as, um, you know, the fact that Kakashi states it's dozens and to lowball and kind of be accurate and charitable, we would assert the value that, you know, 24 is fine instead of anything insane like 100, as well as the fact that the statement in general um, is power, not necessarily speed. So wait, is, so is your is your main what? problem is your main problem with uh the like translation or just like the validity of um, the forces? I have a from? problem. Okay, so initially, basically, the first thing I said was the translation from it. Um, that was to basically necessitate the fact that I don't even think it directly means a hundred, as well as the fact of Kakashi's statement taking precedence over Lee's statement due to the amount of validity Kakashi has due to his position as well as other things and knowledge compared to Lee. So um. I and that, the third one was I don't even think this is correlated to speed. I said it would just be a power statement anyway. So, I mean, I think um, I think it would be a boost of all stats because it just uh. Wait, let me go back to the scan. That okay. I just... that's fine. I agree. Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I agree. I it's think... a. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, I would yeah, say yeah. I agree. I said I would agree that it's a boost to all stats. But can you prove that it's a one to one ratio for all stats? What do you mean? Just like uh... um, in a sense of like, let's just say Lee goes into the gates um, and his power is increased as well as his speed. But the speed does not necessarily have to be correlated to the power that he gains from the transformation, especially because we see in the tuning exams, um, even Gara San is slowly able to form and react to this, uh, this same Lee, despite him being weightless and him getting around the corners and Whenever he used gates, he wasn't an exact blitz difference or anything higher. Uh, unless, in terms of like twenty four times, it wasn't anything so major or so severe. So even if I gave it to you that his speed is amplified by it, I don't think you can prove it's a one to one ratio or like quantifiable. I think if anything, his power is just multiplied. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Well, let me see. One second. I have to, uh, I just got, there's like a message. I accidentally clicked on a message that was like popping up in the top of my screen. I just got to go back to the, uh, scan. Okay. scan. You take your time. Um, okay. So, um, I mean, I really think it's, I, I pretty much think like, uh, the, the like hundred versus the 24 is just kind of like a he say versus she say, because like, I don't think, uh, I really don't think that Kakashi uh, should his work should hold any more validity over Lee's, especially since like Lee uh, has pretty much trained under Guy's wing pretty much his entire life. Do you want me to tell you why I would? I mean, yeah, you can explain. Okay. So, um, essentially, not only is Kakashi, you know, obviously Guy's direct rival and grew up with him since childhood. Are you aware that Kakashi himself knows the gates? Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, he knows that. Yeah, Kakashi knows how to do the gate of opening. Um, you could argue, which is kind of funny with Naruto scaling, but he never really just dives or goes farther into the gates. But Kakashi himself knows the gates, as well as the fact that Kakashi in the skin, you can see him looking at the chakra network. So you can argue that um, the Sharingan is present, or you could just argue the fact that um, he directly just referring to how the chakra network releases through these vowels of these gates. And while Lee is using the gates, right, by the way, Guy Sensei isn't explaining it. Um, Kakashi is, they're going into date, uh, they're going into the details explaining how the gates actually work, the gate of opening and all these different things that uh, Lee is doing to his body. And Kakashi actually knows more than Guy Sensei to the point in the tune exams where he says, Guy Sensei, like, what's wrong with you for teaching this technique to Lee? this would damage him or he can't do this. And then Guy Sensei is still letting him do this. And then Kakashi proves to be true when Lee is obviously severely damaged from even using the gates, not just Gara sand burial technique. So if anything, Kakashi might even be more knowledgeable on the gates than Guy Sensei himself, considering his intelligence, as well as the fact that he can use the gates. Um, Guy Sensei isn't exactly known for being an intelligent character when it comes to like chakra networks or these types of things. He's more of a taijutsu expert in terms of just like using it brute forcefully. So I, I do think Kakashi is more knowledgeable than Lee in this sense, unless you can demonstrate to me why he wouldn't be. The, oh, okay, so the only problem I would agree with you, I would I would agree with you 
on uh, your points that you brought up. The only problem that I have, uh, like I would agree on like the 24 times multiplier, but there's one problem that I have with your whole argumentation okay. against the 100 times multiplier thing is that um, the the gap between uh, the gap between uh, seventh gate guy and uh, what you call it the gap between seventh gate guy and stage of six past moderate is a bigger gap than twenty four times I would believe for it to be. Uh, you just, said the in, gap in the is way, what? in the way that moderate was handling the situation because he was like toying with him in seventh gate. So Modder was twin with who in the seventh gate? Uh, guy. And what are you using this to justify? I'm trying to justify that uh, it would be higher than a 24 times multiplier because I'm saying that guy in his normal strength, uh, or the guy like his normal speed, like times 24, or like whatever his normal stats are, times 24, uh, wouldn't be enough to deal with uh, Jubidara. Oh, okay. So, so, um. So essentially what you're doing is um I just like to call this like threshold gapping. Um essentially you're trying to define like a certain value of a threshold for how strong Juby Dara is. And say like um Juby Dara has this level of speed or power and the fact that he's able to use the gates and actually scale to Juby Dara. But the thing is actually um characters before and just other characters in general around that scene are able to react to Juby Dara. So if anything, this would help your case. A perfect example is how Lee admits during the war, as well as right before that engagement with Mike Guy, he says that he is actually not on Guy Sensei's level. Despite this, a six gate Lee is able to react to Jubi Dara and Guy Sensei throwing Minato's kunai's in between them, as well as Kakashi arguably reacting in terms of his perception speed with Kamui. So there's characters directly scaling to him. Even Minato is able to turn his back and react to his um, his true seeker orbs, as well as the fact that. You can't necessarily necessitate the value that Modder is X amount of blitz difference above base Lee. I'm a base guy, my fault. And even if you are, it wouldn't be a quantifiable difference because a blitz does not have to assign a numerical value in terms of like it's five times or twice as fast or anything. You can speed blitz somebody and be like 1.5 times faster. Like, so I, I don't see how this really works in your favor of an argument. I'm, per I'm pretty sure. Um that Lee being able to intercept like night guy charge and would just be an example of like plot induced suspid uh plot induced uh stupidity for the sake right. of the plot. Because I mean you could just use the argumentation like oh like the same thing like how did uh like there's many examples of plot induced stupidity throughout Naruto that just don't make any sense. Okay. And um, that that would, that would be an example of one let me let me because show like, you why it's not. How, how, is it, how would a seventh gate guy uh be like getting toyed around with by Juby Dara and then um a six gate Lee is able to throw attacks in time in front of an eighth gate guy? Okay, one second. Let me show you why it's not the case. Uh it's actually pretty funny. A lot of people aren't actually aware of this. Um look in uh the scans chat. So Basically, there's literally a data book scan that actually arguably says that Lee is equal to Naruto, um, which is actually really funny because it implies that the same Lee that was throwing those kunais is on the level of this Naruto. Is there? Yeah, I just posted in scans chat. All right, let me see. The data I, book. I, 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 let me see. Uh, that hasn't popped up yet. Okay, here we go. Um, Naruto... If you're looking for it directly, it says uh, this this barrage boasts a power that equals even Lee's, who has a good command of the eight gates, and thus most difficult to feed. Yeah. So, uh... oh, so this is like the Kagula fight. Okay. So her name was Shen. Mega Shadow Clones, the combo attacker storm leaves no place to hide. Um. Uh... More, uh, where exactly does it say that thing? I can't um, Okay, it says right here, uh, I'll read like a decent amount of the text before in case you think I'm being disingenuous. Um, it says, it's Naruto's ultimate taijutsu, his rapidly strengthened, the Uzumaki-Naruto combo, which has its strong point in the past. According to the increasement of the number of his, uh, his shadow clones, essentially, that's all it means, this yeah. barrage boasts a power that equals even Lee's and it's referring to Lee using the eight gates. 
I don't, I don't, I don't think that means the eighth. That are you trying to say that means the eight no, gates literally or the eight? I'm not gates? trying to say. I'm not trying to say it means the eight gates literally. But the only lead that we see prior to this use the gates was a six gate lead. So it should be referring to six gate lead equal in that Naruto. Mm. All right. I mean, I've never seen this one. Yeah, I mean, it's just directly in the data book. I mean, it's not like a fake scan or anything. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think. I mean, I don't think it's a fake scan. It doesn't look like it. It looks like the normal format for the normal Naruto <laughs> scans. Um. So do you have another uh, argument um, you want to go over, or something there, else? There, there, point? There's, oh, there might be one last thing in regards to this. Uh, just the, like the guy thing, and okay. then. Because there's a, let me just see, I can get it. One sec. Mm -mm. All right. This one's like exploiting the gates. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like read this one with you. This is like the only thing I had in. This is like the only other thing I had in my scans about uh, the gates. So I'm gonna like read this one too. Um, oh, the reverse lotus. Okay. Uh, um, it's uh, Um, you looking for something in particular on the scan, or no, no, I'm, I'm, uh, this is just like this is just like the last thing I had in my scans. I was just like reading through it. I didn't really look at this one too much. It was just yeah, like that just about refers to refers to like um his power, uh, and it's just like hyping up the gates. It doesn't really say anything uh, regarding like direct speed things that aren't stated in the initial battle. It, it does say, like, he flies about with a speed <sighs> that Gar and Sand can't match, uh, like, later. Is there a way I can mute people? Uh, how do I mute people? Like, there's, like, mad people just, like, messaging me right now. Um, Go, yeah, so, essentially, I have to do the same thing. Just go to your account, um, like, click your profile icon in the bottom right, go to privacy and safety, and then it says allow direct message from server members and just turn it off. Yeah, I always always have to do that shit. People kind of get crazy. Yeah, that's good to know because I'm having messages pop up like every freaking five seconds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit happens all the time. Um. So yeah, do you have um another uh, speed argument you want to go through or? Okay. Um. I guess I. I mean, I guess we can get off. Uh. Okay. So. I'm still having messages pop up at the top. That's weird. Whatever. Um, yeah, it'll take it's a fine. while. It's fine. Um, so, we at least, so, I mean, I still believe it's a hundred times multiplier, but, I mean, I Maybe. guess you're going <laughs> to. Do you think that she, like, defended the position? Like, that his speed would be multiplied I mean, by I think, I mean, I don't know. I still feel like with the points that you brought up, I still feel like... Uh, Lee's word holds more villa uh, more validity. I don't know why Lee would just say like, yeah, but uh, oh, what is I don't know why Lee, Lee would say it's a hundred okay. times multiplier for no reason. Um, I'm gonna put it like this, right? Um, I just give you like multiple justifications for why Kakashi's statement should be president, as well as the knowledge, as well as the fact that he uses the gates in general. Um, to kind of give you evidence that he should be more knowledgeable, in fact, than Lee himself, and all these things lead into the conclusion. So if you're just simply saying that you don't believe it because you feel like Lee would say the statement, um, I already gave you something that kind of like disproves it outside of that. The thing that I said to you is um, the, the translation for it as well. I already, that was the first uh, premise under that. I said, uh, I don't even believe it directly has to be 100 um, because I said, here's this translation where it just says tens of times. 
24 it could also just be an increase upon tens of times those things could be correlated like they don't have to be like mutually exclusive with each other they can both be the case didn't it say dozens um n- this one right here just says power tens of times um as well as the other one where it just says yeah uh you can obtain you know power this one says a hundred but the rest of them kind of just say tens of times or ten tenfold over tenfold like this is just kind of like in, like explaining the fact that what the official translation is saying versus like these two like mistranslations or these two things that are actually even precedent over the original translation. Um, as well as the fact, like I said, uh, it's kind of referring to power and I demonstrated to you why, um, even if I agree with you and I was like, yeah, me, sure, I agree with you. The fact that his speed increases, I said, it doesn't have to be a one-to-one linear ratio and the fact that Yo, my name is Guy Sensei. I get a hundred times my AP, and now I'm a hundred times faster as well. Um, especially with other characters reacting to him, and Guy Sensei not being a hundred times faster than just that regular Guy Sensei. Anyways, like I'm pretty sure you're aware of as well. Like Guy Sensei before he even popped the the eighth gate, when he was just using the seventh gate, you know he was like reacting, right? Like he Some there was love. never there was never a multiple blitz difference, like. Do, are you not aware of the fact that, like, Guy Sensei fought Madara in the seventh gate as well? I know. I was aware of the fact that he fought Madara, but Madara, at no point of the fight, was he really, like, pressured. He was more so just, like, yeah, enjoying yeah. I, I also, I also argue that, which I feel like would also be kind of, like, detrimental upon your argument, right? Because um, in the case for Madara, Madara was arguably holding back that whole entire fight with Guy Sensei, which a lot of Naruto fans, like, overlook concerning the fact that he just wanted to be challenged and there's like a narrative implication there of why Madara wasn't actually using Jutsu besides just throwing the true seeking orbs um, that you can just argue there. Um, even there, like I said, Guy Sensei was assisted um, so you can argue he doesn't even really scale to it. There's multiple times where he was getting tagged by the TOS orbs and Minato actually reacted to them and other characters reacted to them that weren't, you know, necessarily multiple blitz differences above. So all these characters are like in the sphere of relativity. Like even like a an Edo Minato reacts to like a a, a mastered KCM Naruto, um, and all these things are like present uh, presented throughout the war. I want to say so. There's nothing here really like keying in on the fact that Madara is a hundred times faster than this already base guy sensei or any of these things. So at best, it's kind of just like. You're, you presented uh, uh, relativistic scaling and maybe like a little higher uh, into like light speed contentiously because I just it just has to be an amplification. It doesn't have to be directly like I said a one to one ratio. So, so are we? I mean, are we agreeing on the fact that it's like dozens of times? Isn't that what you said? Um, I agree on the fact that yeah, it's dozens of times at the very minimum. And but like obviously, when I say dozens of times, right? It could be like thirty six because obviously twelve times three would be thirty six. But we okay. would like lowball it to be generous as well as the fact that you wouldn't like assume anything higher because that would be fallacious, which I'm sure you're aware of. So I said twenty four. It would be like a good metric to like assert that you know the dozens could just be twenty four. It doesn't have to be higher. So thirty six. You said what? Thirty six. No, I said 24. It doesn't have to be higher than 24. Like I said, you could assert 36 because it's three, but I said like obviously I mean, yeah, the more... I feel like I feel like the fact that if it's saying like dozens, I mean... Yeah, dozens could just be more than one dozen. It could just be 24. That's, that's I, I don't know. That feels like a serious low ball. I mean, I would, I would lean against that. I mean, even if you lean against 36, um, I mean, like I I lean, said, I'm leaning against 24. That's what I'm leaning okay, against. Okay, okay. Even if you do that, it doesn't really like help the speed considering that his speed is just becoming unquantifiably amplified considering all those characters that scale to each other before and after he uses the gates kind of proven that there's no huge blitz differences in power okay. also kakashi was perceiving a base guy by the way and he still perceives a uh a what's it called a later guy into eighth gates um and kakashi has been blitzed by characters who aren't even a hundred times faster than him so it just doesn't even make sense Considering that Kakashi was able to kuma, uh, kamui these TOS orbs that Guy Sensei himself wasn't able to react to. Um, okay, so you're at, um, so you're saying like the one to one thing. You're at, are you coming to an agreement though, like, uh, that the gates boost like all stats basically? Um, yeah, they could boost all stats, but it doesn't have to directly increase his uh his speed in terms of like uh in correlation to his power like he doesn't have to be a hundred times or in this case 24 times uh his his speed uh, can just like i said be 
24 times its power, and then it could be like 1.25 times its speed or any numerical value. We can't make an assertion. So it's just unquantifiable. Like, I, I'm pretty sure you're aware of like fallacious claims or just fallibility, unless you want me to get into that. But um, I mean, uh, yeah, you, <laughs> a one, I mean, yeah, you can because I mean, guy, movie uh, essentially. Is Okay, yeah, so it, 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 it wouldn't it wouldn't be a one it wouldn't be a one point two five multiplier because you can't just go from Madara toying around with you to like bending space and bending a truth seeking staff and like blitzing him. Can you can you quantify how much faster you need to be to bend space? Uh, more than one point two five times. Well, okay, go ahead and prove that via burner proof. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it right now. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, one second. Um, <clears throat> one second. You said approve that it's more than a 1.25 times multiplier? No, I said prove that uh, you can quantify uh, the difference between like how fast you need to be like to bend space in context. Because you said, oh, he can bend space and then one instance he couldn't. And I was like, okay, how much faster would you need to be to bend space? Um, also, like, like I said, as somebody who kind of like researches this, not even trying to like appeal to myself here, kind of be like a dickhead, but like... I'm telling you right now, there's going to be no way to really prove this assertion. And in fact, um, I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but in like in physics, you can argue that like space time bends at the speed of light as well. That's like a theory. So you can just argue as well that. Wouldn't that be like an appeal to reality though or no? No, no, no. I'm just telling you in this case that you could argue that when things go faster than light in context, my fault. Um, that it is just bending space time, or it's doing the same thing Guy Sensei is doing. So this wouldn't I don't, even I don't know prove why, anything. Uh, you have a, I don't know why you have a problem with you. You agree to the fact that eight gates boost all stats, and then you're saying it can't necessarily boost his speed. Mm, that's not what I said. Uh, you're oh, what like, did you say? I must have okay. misheard you. My bad. What yeah. did you say? Um, I said that it would boost your speed. I just said you can't give me a quantifiable value how much it would boost. Like, if I agree... I, with... Yeah, I'm saying, I thought we agreed on the fact that the eight gates boost all stats by, like, dozens of times. No, I said multiple times, and I'm pretty sure everybody in this VC, as well as chat, heard me say that the eight inner gates in context can boost your power by 24 times. And that's why I brought up the one-to-one -one ratio point. And I said, okay, it doesn't have to be a one-to-one -one ratio in speed to power. Like, just because, like, you ever play a video game, like, uh, fucking, uh, what's an example? Like, Final Fantasy, and then, like, your strength raises by 15 points, your speed only raises by three. That's what I'm saying could be the case here. So, in one, one analogy, you can prove that his power is increasing by 24, but you cannot also prove his speed is increasing by 24 due to the fact that a bunch of people here during this fight presented were all relative in speed, as well as the fact that a lot of these people have scale and then none of them just drastically increased by 100 concerning the fact that they were still able to react to each other. So if anything, it just seems like they became multiple times faster or just an unquantifiably amplification of times. But um, what I was going to go into before you went off of that point, uh, uh, something I knew you couldn't quantify is that fallibility just typically implies a mistake of belief. Um, and in this case, the more that you claim something or the more assertions and implications or assumptions you have to make without a decent amount of information, and you kind of have to like assert these things, um, your information would just be more fallible, like more fallible in the sense that it would take longer for you to just sit here and assume this is the case, point A is the case, point B is the case. So you're not actually able to give me a metric to like assign any value for his speed. So I'm not disagreeing that it gets faster. I'm just saying, okay, well, how much faster can you say? Like, you can't really say anything besides, hey, it would be above relativistic. Like, okay, like you can just be higher into relativistic plus. Uh, 
um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of blatant here. Um, I I don't think you really have anything that like uh, as far as I've seen so far, unless you have anything else you want to add. Um, but yeah. Um. So we're uh for like speed as far as we uh what did we come to for an agreement uh, FTL. Um, I think I think that your character could be relativistic plus because I said you could just be higher into it. Um, I said like obviously your character is relativistic and your character gets unquantifiably faster. Your character could just be relativistic, um, like plus or just higher into the tier itself. It doesn't have necessarily have to be FTO. Um, as well as the fact that like even in this case, if if you were like kind of reaching that ledge of light speed this this isn't really going to help you out uh but i'll explain like when i scale my character speed of why uh you there yeah i'm here okay so is, is that okay is, uh, is that oh, like, like, I, I thought you were gonna say i thought you were gonna continue saying something I, you were just like talking and you cut out instantly oh, like oh i was saying that like um essentially i agree on the value that your character would be like relativistic and then upon active um and like activating the gates um your character's power let's say increases by 24 and your speed just increases by some unquantifiable metric from relativistic and that could just be higher into relativistic plus like it doesn't have to be ftl so your character can just be high end relativistic plus like ninety percent of the speed of light or anything like it doesn't it doesn't really prove anything um, in this context. So uh, that's that's what I agree upon. Um, I don't think you can prove unless you can show me a, a way that Guy Sensei is literally stated like verbatim to just be like that fast. But yeah. I mean, um, one sec, maybe this. Uh... This is uh this is not related to Guy Sensei, but this is related in like terms of like the gates. So this is still pertaining to the argument. Um okay. Oh wait, I just sent that to the wrong thing. I just sent that to the general chat. For some reason I'm on general. Uh scans, here we go. Uh I can resend it if you want. I got it, I got it. It's fine. Um Right there. Uh, so it's not there's nothing in particular on this. I was just like refreshing your memory just in case you forgot. Um so basically, um, I mean, you remember the Rock Lee fight? How like Rock Lee uh, in this fight was you, not, like getting a question, question before you before you like diverge onto this like uh, this explanation or potential tangent? Um, are you gonna try to use the statement where it says abnormal speed? Uh, no. Okay, you continue. Okay, no, I was just not. I was just gonna go and say that. Uh, um, I mean, it is kind of like an unquantifiable amount, but I was just going to go and say that, uh, with only like the fifth gate, not even counting like sixth, seventh or eight in, uh, regards to like, in the stake of like guys argument, uh, Rock Lee went from like getting kind of like, dis like kind of like getting folded by Gara to then like folding Gara with the fifth gate. So, I mean, you could then, like, use the argument, okay, so that's, like, if it turns the tides that much, um, then how much, like, speed would the 6th, 7th, 8th gate uh, add? And especially, like, since the 8th gate is, like, uh, life-threatening. I think uh, the assertion of the 100 times okay. multiplier, so, or dozens of times multiplier for the all stats would be okay. let me let me let me put it like this um <sighs> my fault i barely slept um essentially what i was saying is um for the context right here where it says um so he was able to bounce back from exhaustion with such abnormal speed because he forced open the you know the gate of the rest um so you tell me guy which of the inner gates has we gotten up to this far the fifth gate and then he says that feat should be impossible to achieve through hard work alone so the boy's a genius and then he's referring to like the hype of the eighth gate or just the hype of the fifth gate in particular when referring to the eighth gates. Excuse me. Um, in context, essentially, Lee is referred to as a Taijutsu genius multiple times throughout part one Naruto, as well as the fact that he's praised for his hard work and dedication. Um, when they state the reason why I brought up the abnormal speed thing is that the context for what Lee's speed is actually implied to be greater. So his speed can increase, right? 
but let's just say uh, his speed increases by a large amount or a, a big amount. That big amount does not necessarily have to be anything because for you to assert any value, like I said, I can just be like, that's fallacious. Um, the reason why is because let's say you said, oh, I think large is two times. I think large is three times. I can say, well, large to me is 1.5. 1.5 is still enough to blitz somebody. That would be a large difference. And in context, that's why Kakashi would be making a statement that feat should be impossible. Like, there's there's nothing you can claim, and all you did was kind of just, like, appeal to, like, a majority in the sense of, like, you're appealing to the fact that his speed can just increase by, like, a, a gap that's immeasurable and you can't really make a claim on due to the amount of information we have presented. So, so again, Mish, I would ask you to, like, assert a quantifiable um, number, and if you can't, you know, I would just kind of, like, just take the concession via Hitchens razor on that point that you're not actually able to substantiate that it does increase it uh, by 24 times instead of it just being like an amplification from an unquantifiable value. So it doesn't really seem like this point is like clicking or um, th this point just doesn't really seem fundamentally sound in nature. So I kind of just like <laughs> it there. Um, I mean, uh, I I, I think I think I got my point across. Um, I know that. I mean, you're trying to do anything that you can to debunk. Obviously, this is a debate. I mean, I think that I got my point across, but I already know I have some good debunks for your one piece argumentations later in the debate, anyways. So, okay. Um, so, so I guess you know, that's not even that's not even the rest for my speed scaling, anyways. So I guess we can move on from this point of the argument because that's not even. We can move on from this point of the argument because I have more uh, speed scaling to offer. So we're not going to stay. I'm not going to stay on this point right, too so long. Let me do. You, okay, so do you want me to go into my speed scaling, or do you? No, wanna... no, no. I'm not. I'm not all done. I'm not all done with okay. Sasuke. No, okay. I, got, I, I can get Sasuke farther than Relativistic Plus. Okay. I just uh, I don't want to stay on that point too long because I literally just killed like 30 minutes probably right there on that one point. Um. Okay, so let me drop my next scan. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay. So. I will send, I'm going to send you two. It's a data book statement. I'm going to send you the original, like, kanji, just in case you want it. I'm not sure if you want it. And then I'll send you, like, the original, like. Uh, For what scan? Um, Is it Darui? No, it's not Darui. It's, uh, it's. Uh, one second. What's oh, I got it right here. What's their name? What was that? I said, what's their name? Like the person, like scaling your knees. There we go. Oh, I just sent it to freaking general. Are you kidding? Is it like? Um, it's the uh light thing. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Okay, so I'll I'll repost it in the scan chat, uh, and I'll address yeah, you, this. You repost that, my bad. Yeah. I don't know how I keep getting back into yeah. this in general. I'll, I'll repost this in the scan chat, and I'll kind of like discuss why this doesn't matter within context. Um, so basically, the light thing, um, which some people use to scale, uh, essentially right here, what it says is a new jitsu used by those who gain the six pass power. They meet a beam of light to bisect the enemy. It cuts off all the things. Well, in this kind of sense, like I said, it cuts all things with the speed of light, um, making it impossible for the enemy to evade even one swing. So all it's saying is that the light fang moves at the speed of light. Um, just because you dodge a light speed attack does not necessarily mean that you're faster than light. Obviously, what you should know, because I've seen you make this argument and assert that before, because there's a distance between you and said attack. Um, and actually, uh, for the light fan, I actually have a calc on the light fan for how fast you would actually have to be to dodge it. And I can give you this light fan calc right here. It's it's loaded in one second. Um, um, actually, I actually have a uh, so it wouldn't uh, uh, also it would also be into consideration the fact that um, Naruto so you was holding down by a limbo clone. No, not the limbo clone. So you're saying, I mean that too, but. You're saying Naruto, are you saying Naruto would not scale the speed of light or FTL from this? Um, no, um, because of this calc directly that I'm about to drop. Okay, I'll, I'll see the calc and then I'll give my opinion right after this. Okay. 
One second. Let me get uh one second. Um, if you see something wrong with the calc, you can counter. Uh, I just gotta get it, get it from my notes. One second. So, um, it's right here. So yeah, um, this is all it would be, it would just kind of be like 90% of the speed of light. Um, and here's a calc. You can give me all your contentions with it and I'll address all the points, uh, about it if you have. One second. Yeah, sure. Did you make this calc yourself, or was this like? So um, I have versions of the calc myself that I made. Um, this calc in particular, part of it was like an improv, uh, an improvisation. Oh, my fault. Um, part of it was like me improving the VSB calc uh, that they made because I found some error in it. Uh, but essentially, I do have versions of the calc that would arguably put it higher. Um, and there's the versions of the calc I made that would arguably put it lower, depending on how you argue it. Um, I do use the light fan scale on myself, so I do think that it is a row plus feet. Um, but I don't really think this kind of really helps you in terms of like arguing FTL Naruto. Okay, so you Sorry. have any problems with it? Yeah, I'm I'm sending something myself. Okay. There's other ones on versus battle wiki I can get you or other websites as well. None of them really translate to, to FTL unless they're like kind of wanking or stretching the feed itself. Okay, so what's your problem with this? Let me see. Can I get the link? Yeah, you want the link to that? Yeah, sure. Okay. Because normally, the thing is, um, when it comes to pixel scaling, I'm not saying I don't believe you. It's like they calculate the pixels between certain images, and they use, like, pixel aid for it or they just kind of like try to necessitate the value for certain things based off the of distance and, you know, the positioning of certain characters or things within a time frame. So by looking at the calc itself, I'll be able to look at the images and how they actually gauge or graded the, the scaling. Yeah. And also, um, th there's that one right there. And also, um, this would scale above uh, the point ninety one, whatever that the one that you like re-edited, like calc it to. Because I'm pretty sure Naruto, so in the data book, it says that it's not only like Naruto dodging the beam of light, but if you like reread it, it says, so it cuts all things uh, with the speed of light. So he's also like, it's saying like the cutting motion of the speed of, like the, the cutting motion that Madara is making is also light speed. It doesn't really okay one, one second I'll, I'll get to that why it doesn't matter but okay um let me go through the calc okay so step one why did they 
okay, <laughs> I already know there's something wrong. Um, okay, then this between the beam and Naruto. Okay, so yeah, uh, there's a bunch of stuff wrong with this calc. Um, the first thing is that they decided to use Pythagoras for it. Um, they tried to necessitate the fact that it, they would use Pythagoras in this case because the path of the line that it would follow would kind of be symmetrical to it. And then they tried to say that in this case, the green line for the path of the light fan would follow or angleize um, 7 or 80 degree, um, which it, it doesn't even have to be the case due to the fact that they were midair. And the line that it's fired is actually unquantifiable in a time frame seeing that we see Naruto within the panel and there's a direct cut to it. There's also no like distance that's really given there. So the, the reason why you shouldn't use it is because you can't necessarily determine or necessitate the line that it travels in. Uh, the other thing is like, I can be a little bit picky here with this, but the direct, the, like the direct pixels that they use to like kind of necessitate how big or how small things were within the frame you could argue it's wrong, which kind of like messes up the whole scale, obviously, because they're trying to use these things within a metric. Uh, but yeah, either way, like, I don't think that would really matter because I can give you four different calcs that all have different amount of pixel measures. The important thing here is that you can't really determine that. So it, it wouldn't really scale or you wouldn't be able to use Pythagoras to like kind of necessitate that. So I'm going to re I'm going to relook over your thing one more time just to see if I have any uh, problems. Okay. No way. That's fine. All right. That, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, head. Uh, Naruto's face. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, so. Point ninety one, so relativistic plus. Um, actually, no. I still have I still have a lot of problems with this. Actually, hey, okay, what's the issue with the calc? Okay, so the issue with the calc is that we both, me and you, already came to the assertion that KCM one Naruto already uh <laughs> fell under relativistic plus, okay. and then Naruto gets KCM. Two, which is like the uh, cloak version, and then he gets the stage of six fast powers handed to him. So again, and, again, Meech, this wouldn't really prove anything because I could just say that it would just be an unquantifiable amplification. You can just gain like a small amount of speed advantage unless you can prove that every single cloak is like a, uh, I don't know, like in this case, a multiple, like a multiplier of speed difference, um, which it's not. Because even like an EMS Sasuke can react to like these higher variance reforms or people like um, the same Edo Minato, arguably, as well as the fact that for these calcs in difference, uh, the same way I said he was relativistic plus, he can just be higher into rel plus. Like there, there's no necessary like limit to rel plus until you reach light speed. So like okay, again, no. this doesn't really counter anything in nature. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get these care I'm gonna get Sasuke to FTL either way. Trust me. So uh, okay, I mean, this, this is I will get Sasuke FTL. This is it's gonna happen. All right, all right. I wanna see it. All right, all right. All right. So <laughs> next next thing, I guess we can move on from this. I guess we accepted the I, I guess we accepted the thing that uh, I mean, <laughs> that's insane. All right, yeah. All right. Um, I'm just, I'm just moving on throughout the story now. I'm just going like chronologically. Like now, I'm just going on to like the Kaguya shit now. Okay. okay. So, 
Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to just gonna, like talk right now. And then um, if you want, I can grab the scans. I mean, you probably will know what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I know about everything in Naruto. I read all the data books. Okay. Like this, so. All right. So, um, for one, Kaguya was able to blitz several hundred of, like, at least from what it was shown on the screen, at least uh, hundreds of, like, uh, six, six Shadow attacks. clones? What? Shadow clones? Yeah, it's blitz hundreds of shadow clones, okay. which would all do you, skill. Do you think... Do you th- Okay, do you think all the shadow clones are relative to like the main body? Um, yeah, I would think so. Why? Because um if she's having well, you said why? Yes. Because it's so later in the final valley battle with Sasuke that Sasuke's having trouble reacting to some of the shadow clones. Um, that's actually not true. Sasuke beats up a lot of the shadow clones and then even like Almighty pulls them. If you're talking I about can, later, I can, I can if, you're talking about, if you're talking about later in the sequence, like when he does the the bridge move and he like throws Sasuke into the wall, um, yeah. is, is that like the scene you're referring to? Uh, yeah. Naruto can throw his shadow clones to mess up Sasuke's perception. Like, do you know in the data book it stated that whenever ninjas use things like substitute Shinjutsu, the main thing there is that they're misleading their perception to look at something else while also like necessitating the fact that they're okay. using a mainline attack. So in Naruto, it's like consistent whenever you're able to mess up somebody's like perception or just in this case, but like off guard them to the point where you're throwing multiple things in multiple ways, you would actually able to kind of get the grip on them or get the edge on them within a speed feed. Um, okay. As well, as well as the fact that I was going to bring up to like kind of address this Kaguya point, because um, you kind of went into detail on that part, even if Kaguya is able to blitz these shadow clones, there is no quantifiable multiplier for how fast a blitz difference is. And I hope you don't go into the 22 times terrible VSB like perception blitz multiplier. So I didn't, I didn't know what that one. I might have been yeah, aware of that is, one. This shit is bad. Like, uh, <laughs> um, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so if, I mean, me and you can both come to the agreement. I'm pretty sure anybody in the chat would agree with this as well. Um, you would have, you, I'm, uh, it would be your assertion, like you're making this assertion, so you'd have to Wait, prove how? to me that if Naruto um, is making all these shadow clones, then you'd have to prove to me that Naruto's uh, speed would also be slowing down within the shadow no. clones. Um, no, you're, you're shifting the burden. Okay, so the reason why you're shifting the burden of proof in this case is because you implied in this way, you made the assertion that all his shadow clones. If you notice, due to my wording, I always do this stuff. Um, I say... Do you think the the Naruto Shadow Clone scaled to the main body? And you made the assertion by saying yes. So by me asking you to prove that they scaled to the main body, you would have to demonstrate that via burden of proof. In this case, to also counteract the point, I went over why I said blitzing the Shadow Clones wouldn't even really matter. Like, um, there's also other times where Naruto arguably blitz Kaguya. But that's for like a, a side point to extrapolate on what I was originally saying. That blitzing something does not necessarily entail a multiplier. So, like, I, again, this is, like, your assertion to prove, your burden to prove. Okay, um, um, my assertion that. my assertion would be for the fact that uh, in the beginning of the war, when Naruto spread all those uh, QB clones over the battlefield, that a single uh, QB clone was capable of taking down a third Raikage who was able to take down the Eight Tails. And the third Raikage... <laughs> So this would just be that would be a power like that's just power. What does that have to do with like proving they're multiple times faster? It would it would it wouldn't uh it wouldn't have to prove that about uh him being faster. It would just prove that the speed carries on to the clones because uh third Raikage. I'm pretty sure there's like data book statements of the third Raikage being superior to the fourth Raikage. The third Raikage being superior to the fourth Raikage. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can get that. No, not inherently. I know the statement you're referring to, but it doesn't necessarily have to have an interpretation. There's a statement in the data book that says the Raikage is the strongest in the village, um, but obviously there was this one. Then there's a statement that, like, uh, in this case, the third Raikage, um, he fought, like, the A-Tails, and you can argue the Raikage doesn't scale there, but I, I disagree with that. I think a lot of character skills of Biju levels, like, even the Kotsuki are stated to be at that level in the data book. Um... Like, in general, like, for this this whole line of scaling that you're trying to use, it doesn't really work. So, I don't I don't know where you're going with this. Um, You kind of just went on, like, a tangent trying to explain why Shadow Clone scales to the right Kage. 
And that doesn't necessarily have to mean that there's not a drop off between like the Shadow Clone speed when like Naruto can just be faster than the Raikage, anyways. And he didn't even use KCM, by the way. He used Sage Mode, which is like a perception faster. Like Sage he, Mode used, just... he used KCM and Sage Mode in that fight. Um, I'm referring to the fact that he doesn't scale to him with KCM. And in fact, the Raikage is way too fast and too strong for Naruto to the point where Naruto has to kind of concede and literally use Sage Mode, which is stated at higher reaction speed. Okay, so that would just prove for the fact that if KCM Naruto can't react to the third Raikage, then that just proves that the third Raikage would scale higher than relative. No, that would just prove that in this case, you would have to prove the Shadow Clones all scale to the main body because you made the assertion that they do, as well as the fact that you tried to argue in this case that the Raikage, even if the Raikage is unquantifiably faster than this KCM Naruto, you would have to prove in this case, because all I said was the stage mode is stated to be a reaction, you know, reaction speed is stated to be higher. And um, this doesn't necessarily, like, contend the point that Raikage is just unquantifiably above that Naruto Shadow Clone. The Naruto Shadow Clones are arguably, well, Naruto's main body is arguably stronger than Raikage um, through, like, lines of scaling throughout the war or just the scaling towards the Edo Jinchuriki. There's, like, a lot of different ways to go about proving that. Uh, but in general, none of this would really prove that a character is like a multiplier uh, above in speed. Like, I I'm not even gonna lie, Meech. It kind of just seems like you're using like the same logic over and over again to try to say, well, this character is above this character, uh, or this character is unquantifiably above this guy. But like, you're not nearly like making any claims upon like multiplications of speed or anything that would like necessitate that value of it. So, there's that. Um, which one? Let me check. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. That's in part one. Uh, the water fan bullet, arguably light speed, but there's a distance it has to travel. Um, so I'll, again, there would be a drop off in speed. Like this is kind of just like basic. Oh, yeah, going around, like, you, that would have to be your burden to prove to prove that. To prove there's a drop off. Uh, well, to prove how much the drop off is. Um. Okay. In context, let me get a calc for you. <laughs> Oh, uh, one second. <laughs> like, like, there you go. Well, to to be perfectly honest, are you disagreeing with the notion that the drop off is like a uh, significant? Um, one second. What did you say? I need to know what you're claiming so I can get a scan for it directly. Are you disagreeing that the drop off is significant? I'm saying that the drop off is not significant at all. Oh, okay. Um, even if the drop off wasn't significant, you know that wouldn't be light speed, right? It would. Um, like, let's say the drop off. Let's say the drop off in distance would be like I don't know. Let's say it's like three percent, or it's whatever. Like any drop off is still drop off, which makes it not a light speed feat. Um, if it was still, um, if. It was like a three percent drop off, and you put on the one point two five multiplier, it would bring it into FTL. You said what happened? I said if it was like a three percent drop off. No, the, the reason why the reason why that wouldn't work is because I'm pretty sure you agree, or um, even if you like study this, speed is d over t. Um, if you can determine the d, then it wouldn't matter. So in this case, you can determine the distance, so it wouldn't be quantifiable for a calc at all. Like, you can only calculate speed or necessitate speed feats when you have the distance. Well, you can present. calculate the distance. That's why there's calculations yeah. between, like, the light thing and stuff with Naruto. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but can you give me a quantifiable difference on this calc? Well, you, uh... I'm, I'm saying that... I'm saying that this is a light speed attack, and if you have a disagreement with it being light speed, then you have to prove to me that it is no. not... I don't, I don't okay so, so so no that's that's not how the burden of proof works um i don't have a disagreement with the attack being light speed because obviously um this attack is stated to be but you get, I, I know i know what you mean yeah I, you don't have agree, i know you don't have a disagreement with the attack being light speed but you have a disagreement with the drop off point i know what you meant yeah um not even not even entirely i'm just saying that if you can't determine the distance you can't try to use this to necessitate a speed fee like that's just how speed is determined by distance divided by time so obviously if you don't have a distance traveled and you can't give me a time frame then there is no way to prove this even scales so like i don't even see why this matters there's also like to even make this work for you which i don't even want to do but like 
Itachi in this case is literally stated to be holding back against that same Kakashi who uses that jutsu. Like, so there's just like a holding back Itachi to like necessitate the value that if anything should be holding back, regardless if it's unquantifiable that he's holding back, because this means he doesn't scale to the attack at all, especially with the fact that he doesn't even have a distance or a time frame to determine that he scales to it. So you have two reasons why nobody scales to this feat. Um, it kind of, like I said, it just seems like you're like throwing around light speed statements. I'm just going to be like quantify it, quantify it, or it's going to be a numerical value, and you're not going to be able to like necessitate any of them. And like I said, like the next five arguments you're going to probably try to use is like, oh, Haku like moves at light speed between her mirrors or all the other light speed statements in Naruto, but I'm just going to use the same line of logic. Like I have not changed my argument from like the start of this debate. All I have to use is like the one argument that I've been using. All right. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna use the hockey thing. Okay. So, do you do you like? Are you do you have like anything else? Like any big calcs or like can I skill Zoro? Because I don't. I've mean, kind of been on this this portion for for a minute. It kind of just seems like you're just circling around the same arguments. Um. Yeah. Kaguya taking on both Naruto and Sasuke relative to each other, who are both. Uh, we have made the assertion that Naruto and Sasuke are point nine one percent, uh, point like ninety one percent the speed of light, uh, via the yeah. light can thing. You prove, can you prove how much, how fast you have to be to take on two people at the same time? Yeah, I can. I'll get that right now. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, how come? Okay. No, 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 it's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. I don't know. It just, it just feels like every. It just feels like every time, like I have a contention with something that you say, and I tell you to back up, like evidence, or like, uh, I don't know. It's fine. What do you? What do you mean? I, I've kind of proved everything I said with evidence or substantiated my claim. Well, I mean, like, you backed up, like, the thing with, like, the light, the whole life fame thing, but you didn't, like, you brought, like, the whole, like, uh, calc for, like, the life fame thing, but you didn't really provide anything to, for, like, the, uh, the water droplet thing. Oh, oh, the reason why, um, I feel like you would have that, uh, that feeling there within your stomach, um, is because I didn't have to, um, the light fang one, it was kind of, like, you blatantly, there's blatantly calcs for it. I could probably find a calc for this, and, like, I know, like, it would probably be relativistic, like, debate aside. Um, to help you, but it wouldn't even really do anything. The reason why I didn't have to for this one in particular is because one, you you didn't give it time frame, and then two, like there's the fact that Itachi, like I said, was holding back in context. So when ninjas hold back, obviously they're not going all out. The power and the speed should be unquantifiably held as well. So there's just like a lot of things proving characters don't scale above this or scale to it really in this context. So I mean, hey, like if you, you know, like I said, you have anything like else crazy, it kind of just seems like, like I said, the same arguments kind of ready to scale my character, but hey, give me, give me one second though. <laughs> Gotta go check on something. All right, go take your time. Yo, what up, chat? <laughs> Yo, it's good. I swear I am not I am not dropping this point until I until uh Sasuke gets into FTL. I'm not dropping I don't care. I don't care if you guys say I'm getting slim, I'm not dropping this point until Sasuke gets into FTL. I don't care. Cause that's what this no, I'm not moving on. That's what this debate comes down to is speed. I will not let him uh have Sasuke stay in relativistic plus. I know he agrees Sasuke's FTL, but for the sake of the argument, he's obviously not going to agree to it. I will not concede.
like that makes no sense. If you are if you got two relativistic plus beings at point nine ninety one percent the speed of light and you blitz both of them, how does that not make you FTL? All right, I'm back. Um, right. I heard that last point that she said, but yeah, I mean, I'd say how does that? So I'm just talking to myself. I'm just saying I'm just talking to myself, saying how okay. does these two people uh, that are 91 percent the speed of light not make you? Uh, I mean, if you can prove that a blitz would be like twice as fast or anything, then sure. But then you can't really. Yeah, because they're both speed. relative to the same speed, and if you're being two people relative to the same speed, wouldn't that like assert? I mean, that's kind of for that's kind of for you to that's kind of for you to prove though, like. I don't I don't use blitzes in that context. I only use blitzes to prove that a character like surpassed the way he was before. Like let's say like your character gets blitzed by character B and then your character comes back later and blitzes character B. Well obviously he got faster, or you would have to prove it was like an outlier or just doesn't scale in some way. So I don't I don't use blitz multipliers to do anything like that. So um but yeah, uh I'm kind of like ready because you know, we've been on like a lot of repetitive like premises and premises routed and kind of like seems contingent upon quantification and all these other things. So kind of ready to like scale my character, <laughs> but uh, shit. I, don't, I don't know, like if there's anything like nerve wracking, but every time I ask that you kind of pull out something that's like the same lot line of logic. So I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Cause I know this, or I know the, uh, that this debate, the argumentation between Sasuke and Zoa uh, really comes down to, like, speed. That's why I'm, like, kind of, like, honing down on this subject. Okay. One second. (sighs) Oh, yeah, yeah, I got something right here. Perfect. Uh, there's literally one. Okay, so I got one more thing. Um, After this, yeah. after this, we can move on, okay? Okay. Yeah. Fair. I'm just getting it right now. Because this one, I have to, I have to look it up because this one I did not uh, save to my scans. All right, man. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, right there. And right there. Okay. Are you aware of the uh, polar particle feet as well? Which one? The one from the novel. Uh... Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, I know the person who made it too. All right. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm probably not going to post it. Are you going to post it? I'm probably, I'm probably not, not going to use, I'm, I'm use that one because I don't even know too much about it, to be honest. But I got one right here. Yeah. The, the person who made it doesn't even agree with it. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> I don't even think that's smart. But I'm pretty sure you know what those ones are. Yeah. Uh, I mean, here you have, um, which we got. You have a. I'm pretty sure these uh, these feats were uh, calc at. Uh, let me see. What was this calc at? It was like somewhere around like uh, relativistic or like relativistic plus. But this was also uh, a base uh Naruto who was like. Oh, six. is this the photon gun? These are, these are their photon beams okay. that like. This, this is yeah. This is the photon argument that Happy uses. It's really shit. Um, essentially, <sighs> what what happens is like he shoots the photon gun. Essentially, it says it's like in Hokage, like Hokage Naruto's office. There's like no distance traveled for like where Naruto was moving from or anything. So again, it's like the same argument. And to like prove that in the same light novel paragraph, it literally says like avoiding a photon beam to his side. So it's just to the side of Naruto. But what is the side like? I can be three miles away and something can still be to the side of me. And um, then it says Naruto slams his aching chest towards the tank, biting down on his lip, et cetera, et cetera. And then eventually just says like Naruto immediately hits the red of a pirate house. He escapes like 
None of this is like proving the distance that's traveling. It's just well, like that's why, that's, why it's a, that's why it's a relativistic feat, and it's not like light speed is because the distance is unknown. Yeah, so it can be relativistic, but so are the rest of these calcs. So like, what does this mean? Anything? Um, this means something because, um, this would prove that a base Naruto, um, what was it? Oh yeah, base Naruto sick and unable to manipulate chakra would. Uh, mm-hmm. Scale to can you, can you quantify a healthy Naruto with KCM? How much faster that is? Yeah, there's a scan. I can grab it. There's a scan where Kakashi says that uh, Naruto's like chakra reserves uh, are two hundred. Like so, normally it'd be like I'm pretty sure he said like four times, and then with like uh, the other half of Kurama, he said like his chakra reserves are like a hundred times greater. <clears throat> Did you did you hear what I said? Like yeah. I'm, not, I'm not even trying to be a dick, but I don't even think you heard my argument. What was your argument? Sorry. Um, I never said that. Like, the, <laughs> I never said that. Like, the the thing would be like relativistic in that sense. I meant in the case of him dodging the gun would be relativistic. That's why I made the side analogy by saying there's no way to prove how the distance of the gun traveled. So it's not only would you not be able to use it as a calc, as I said earlier with your water bullet point, you wouldn't even be able to use this due to the fact that you can't even determine the distance. And I said, like I said, B equals B over T. So again, like you can't prove at all this like qualifies for the speed formula. You wouldn't be able to justify it being a speed fee. Um, I get the argument basically that you're trying to say, um, but even then it's like, None of this really proves anything within context of the scene. Um, and then again, it's like, okay, well, how much faster is this, even if I still manned it? Or how much is this imp- like, uh, improving by? What is the multiplier, et cetera, et cetera. So. Yeah. Um, well, I think, wait, didn't you just, didn't you just like agree to the fact that it was like, a, um, like that, it was relativistic because, like, the distance- I said relativistic in the sense of like him dodging it from an unquantifiable distance on his desk. But then I brought up the fact that it says on his side later, explaining and clarifying the fact that in this case, for Naruto dodging the feet, you can't even necessitate the speed formula. So you're not even able to use it as a calc. And that's why I called it ass and gave a jab at Happy. And then I also said, in context, this will be really bad due to the fact that you wouldn't even be able to quantify the difference in Naruto's KCM states. And I also brought that up earlier during the debate as well, and you kind of, like, brushed off. But... <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't even care at this point. I honestly don't even care at this point. We can just move on, you know? We can just... You can go to your speed scaling now. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you still disagree with the PXs after I made the video on you? The uh, what? The the PX feet after I made the video on you. Um, the last I'll, video I'll, I responded yeah, to you. Yeah, the PX laser. Yeah. Uh yeah, I do. Okay, what's your disagreement on it? Oh, uh, you have to like. Oh, uh, you have to like reclarify the whole thing. I kind of like forgot um, it. <laughs> essentially, uh, I'll post the panel for it. Shit, here. So essentially, Luffy is able to dodge light speed beams um, right here. Uh, let me get the panel directly, directly. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, boom. So Luffy is able to dodge PX lasers that travel at light speed. Your argument was trying to say, oh, well, Luffy's an observation hockey. Uh, so, excuse me, my fault. You were trying That's to right. say Luffy uses observation hockey. That was part of it to say why he wouldn't even scale to it but you would have to quantify the difference between Luffy using observation and not using observation. And the other argument was the whole aim dodging thing, but Luffy literally moves as it approaches him. So it's not aim dodging. When aim dodges, literally by definition, implies that you're dodging the attack before it's fired, and he dodged it mid-air. So it obviously what wasn't you, aim dodging. What did you help speed at again, or I'll tell you if I, if I, I'll see if I have a problem with this. I forgot what you had this speed calc at. <laughs> Um, it's a relativistic fee. I can get it for you. Um, there's also FTL ones, but it, it really doesn't matter. So I forgot how far into relativistic this let was. Me, let me get it. Hold up. Uh,
Yeah. There you go. Boom. <clears throat> Just as relativistic. And I can get you the metric for speed on BSB. One second. I see I see the BSB link right here. Um, yeah, I just put it there. Let me get you uh, the relativistic difference. Okay, yeah, they have relativistic at 10 to 50% um, on the metric. And then they have uh, relativistic plus at 50 to 100. So this was calc. It was calc like twenty two thousand times um, mock twenty two thousand times. Let me see what exactly. Yeah. Like. So. What for? Uh, <laughs> what the speed of light is that? Let me see. Mock twenty two thousand. Percent. Can you tell me how much uh, percent the speed of light that is or no? Um, I, it just uh, it just says relativistic at bare minimum. I can give it to you. I'll extremely low ball it. It's not going to matter. Uh, let's just say it's ten. Let's just one one second. Hold up. Oh uh, wait, I can just look at the same time because it's mock sounds. Okay, wait. Well, yeah, that's not really needed. I'll just say it's ten percent because that's the lowest amount. I don't. I don't need any higher. It's not going to matter. Oh yeah, bare minimum relativistic would be ten percent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so well, let's let say it's ten percent. Uh, I mean, also, so you said uh, the whole, like, precognition thing. So, um, do you say he, do you say he was not using it? What was your argument against that? I think, I, so I think, I think even with, uh, the argument, the argument is, can you quantify the difference between observation and non-observation? Because watch this right here. Here you go. That's what I'm eating. Yeah, oh, like here's the feet right here, um, where basically he gets blitzed while using the observation by Kaido, implying that, like, it really doesn't mean anything. And while he was getting blitzed, he still had slightly reacted, and he got, like, grazed by the attack. So good, good shit for Luffy, I guess. But yeah, it's just to show you that the observation amp isn't even anything special. It's in there and mind you, in mind you, mind you as well, to, like, improve off of this already argument, this isn't even just base observation. This is Luffy after Whole Cake, after everything that just happened in Udon, as well as the fact that he's using an advanced level of future sight that is way beyond anything that he learned at the beginning of post time skip. So this crazy version of his precognition is still not anything that's a huge numerical boost or anything away from his base speed. So so again, like he would just scale to the top. Like, all right. Um. Also, wouldn't it? Uh... Wouldn't I don't think it would like so like like as so much like correlate because future sites uh different from observation hockey isn't it just more so like advanced observation? Yes, in future essentially it's just advanced observation. It's just a higher level of it. So I wouldn't. It would just like since that's like interfering with Luffy right there and his fight with Kaido, it wouldn't really apply with uh. Luffy with the PX lasers because I don't I don't think you understand what I'm saying then. Um advanced observation is stated to be a whole new level above just the regular observation that he was using in that scene. Um what I'm saying to you is because he has this higher level, the higher level doesn't even mean anything to him. Luffy's base speed and Luffy using observation, there's no difference because he still reacts to the attack. Like, he still has to move his body away from it unless you can give me a quantifiable number. Essentially, what I'm doing to you is, remember all the arguments that I use for, like, quantification and numerical value? I'm literally applying that to Luffy. I'm being genuous with the scale and as well as being kind of modest and, like, lowballing it. And I'm asserting the same line of logic to still get him higher than Naruto or Sasuke. So, in this case, I'm I'm doing the same thing while also, like, necessitating the fact that his observation isn't amping him as much. So the same way I could do that, I could apply that to like Naruto and Sasuke with their precognition. Sasuke's string gun is said to enhance his reaction speed. Um, and you could argue for his combat speed as well as like so Naruto's sage mode doing the same thing by, by, uh, by byproduct. And in this case, I'm just saying, yo, observation doesn't really amp it that much. And even an advanced level of observation doesn't amp it that much. So... But it doesn't even be amped. Like, I I just explained to you, like there's there's nothing that you could prove to prove that it amplifies it. We can't make any assertion, so it's just an unquantifiable. 
like the burden of proof entails that I have to prove an assertion that I'm making, but the assertion that I'm making is just simply saying that there's nothing to prove because there's no statement for it. And I'm right. There's no statement for how much observation increases your speed by in terms of numerical value. So I'm just going to assert the value that, hey, we don't know. We can't make any claims. What we do know is that Luffy dodged the attack midair, scale into the attack. And that's why I gave you a relativistic speed for it. So... And exactly, that's, that's, like, unquant kind of, that's unquantifiable. So you'd be asserting like your own knowledge that would like be the same thing as like what I was doing before. Yeah, which is why you're still able to use it for a relativistic feed. I'm just simply saying that in this context, Luffy dodging this relativistic attack, it doesn't really matter. Like it, it, all the whole thing that would matter in in base context is the fact that he's dodging it, not necessarily unless you can prove that the observation like amps his speed by like a drastic amount that would like change from the attack. Do you remember the point that you made? Like, uh, can you prove the drop off is that big? It's like the same thing. Yeah, with the, with the water. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like the same line of logic here applied to the same context. Like they're both based around like a similar premise. So, yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. So, I mean, uh, yeah, we can, I'm not going to, I'm not going to persist on these points too long just because this debate's been going on. For okay. A long time, so, so, yeah. Um, do you are you familiar with the three D two Y thing I brought up? I am, but you can just bring up the points again if you want. I mean, you can like if you can uh, talk about it, and then if I have like any problems with okay. what you're saying, just drop it. Just drop the stuff. So that's that's like a light speed feat. Are you do you just do you, are you familiar with like the Kuma feat? Uh, the paw pad. Yeah, uh, I am. Do you, you disagree with that? Uh, I do. Do you think that he doesn't like the attack itself traveling isn't light speed? Yeah. Okay, let me get this for you. Uh, one second. Let me get this for you. Who did I send it to? Because I taught them the argument. Uh... Bro. Okay, I just posted. I mean, I'd argue without the, the scan. It's really not going to hurt me. Um, here. So yeah, so essentially right here, uh, the pattern of logic on the scan that I'll post, this is just like to show consistency with them as well. I don't really need to do this, but it's just for argument's sake. Um, yeah, so essentially Kuma uses a pad cannon and it says air is repelled at light, air is repelled at light speed. A lot of people would disagree with the line of logic that's like prevalent here because of the fact that they think that Luffy in the or Zoro in this case isn't actually dodging the air. They think the air is like stored up within the cannon and not necessarily what he's deflecting the paw. Did you know that the paw is directly referred to as the air pressure? Because the correct translation kind of just refers to that. Uh, would you be able to prove that? Um, yeah. Do you know? Are you familiar with Dragon Ball scaling? I am. Yeah. Okay. Do you know who Herms on Twitter is? Most Dragon Ball debaters do. Um, I heard of him yeah herms is the dude that translated all the jiren and brawly shit like all the statements revolving like the gods of destruction and things like that oh yeah herms like some, herms like something like he had like two numbers yeah, after yeah, his name. yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So he's like a known translator yeah yeah let herms me see if I can, or some shit like that yeah, let me, let me, let's see if i can find this bitch god damn um, <laughs> um, just wanted you to say shit. <laughs> give me a second. What? I said, give me a second. I said, this is what I need to say shit. All right. All right. Uh,
Yeah, her ninety eight. Yeah, that's ninety eight. Fuck, let me just go through it. <laughs> So you disagree that the pad itself is air? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Boom. So, yeah, it's, I had a fucking blitz through Twitter tweets, bro, just to find this shit. I should have just saved it. <laughs> um, But yeah, here's the scan directly uh, that necessitates the fact that Kuma in context is using air pressure. Um, The reason why I brought up Herms is because the direct translation can mean air. It also can mean atmosphere. Um, but in context, it's referring to the air that he's pressurizing by even making the pause, which is the correct translation, not necessarily that air is being deflected. Because if you accept the generalization that it's air, you would be entirely basically referring to the fact that he's just like reflecting air itself or everything in the air. Um, in context, air pressure makes more sense um, in conjunction with the words that he's using. So Is that, can, is that like... Um... A fan translation because like the font thing kind of looks off and like usually like, yeah this is this is just yeah this is just another translation um but even the raw scan itself of it kind of like directly refers to air pressure um you like you're aware that like mangakas can like make mistrans well not mangakas themselves but like mangas or like their uh their publishers make mistakes while translating right like mistrans because usually i'm pretty sure like don't uh, i don't know yeah i'm aware of that um uh -huh. so, uh you Usually, don't people usually just go by, like, Viz translation? Um, you can go by Viz translation, but the Viz for One Piece also has mistrans, uh, as well as the fact, like I said, in context, which one makes more sense? Like, do you think that he's smacking air itself, or do you think that he's smacking the air pressure? Like, if you were smacking air itself, that wouldn't even do anything, because your argument is trying to be contingent upon the fact that it's going within the canon. Um, but it's not going within the canon. It's simply this bubble what is the bubble made out of? It's not just made out of, like, I don't know, like, fucking bubbleness or some shit. Like, obviously, it has, like, air pressure within the bubble, because that's all he does. He just pressurizes things with the cannon. So, but, obviously, uh, this, this, is, this translation should be uh, prevalent over the other one. Wouldn't, would air um in the One Piece world be able to travel light speed? You said what? I said, would air in the One Piece world be able to travel, like, light speed? I don't think... uh. Because I don't air, air, air doesn't really air, have okay. air doesn't really okay, have mass to it. Okay, are you let me respond. Okay. Oh yeah, so my bad. The air pressure, bad. the air pressure itself can move at light speed. Do you think that it can? Um, I don't think that it can. Okay, can you prove that? Um, yeah, because air pressure doesn't. Uh, air pressure contains more mass than actually. Yeah, I can you, get that right now. Are you now. making appeal to reality? Because for your claim, for your claim to be precedent here, you would have to assert the value that air pressure in a manga cannot move at the speed of light. In the same way, you can necessitate the fact that okay, water or just a water-based attack can't move at the speed of light because in real life, water can't move at the speed of light. Like, or just claiming, hey, fire has to be like as hot as regular fire in One Piece. 
when obviously the one piece physics work differently anyways. Like we have reason to believe that as well with attacks like light having mass within the verse. Like you're aware that like even like light beams explode upon contact. You're able to argue that they have mass while well light doesn't have mass. Yeah. So um, yeah, the physics are just generally different in one piece as well. I mean, I yeah, I can I can kind of understand that the fixers are kind of different because they have like seven moons or some shit like that. But um, I mean, I don't, I under like I so as far as like the air uh, pad cannon goes, um, so like the uh, repelling, so. Like, I think, like, the attack, I don't think the attack is, like, moving light speed. Like, I think, like, when he's, like, so when he's launching, I think, like, the function, um, okay, actually, never mind. Okay, so, no, um, essentially, when it says air pressure is deflected, the only thing that's being deflected within the attack that we see propelling towards Zoro. Um, I'm, so, I'm yes. looking at, like, so many, I'm looking at, like, the two different panels, but I was looking at this one right here. Yeah, um, let me, let me go back to it. Hold on one second. All right, go ahead. This shit's busting. It's just in this context, it's hard to take uh which one is uh like as legitimate like the legitimate translation because I mean, how does uh Herms ninety eight have more authority over like the nobody said that. Uh, well, you're saying that nobody, not, not, yeah, not like the same, nobody, but, like, That's not the one, one second. That's not the argument. The argument is that okay, Viz can be a primary publisher for a work of manga. Like Viz can release the chapters, but it does not mean that the Viz like translators are like, I don't know, like a mediator, like separate from like error, like they can't make a mistake or anything. Like obviously within context, they can mistranslate things. That's happened with like Bleach. That's happened with One Piece. That happens with Naruto. Like the same manga that you're using. I gave you an example of a mistranslation earlier with the Gates argument. So. Essentially, what I'm saying is one literally refers to him reflecting the air itself, while the other reflects the, um, refers to him reflecting the air pressure. And in context, the air pressure would make more sense concerning that he literally has air pressure and he's reflecting it towards Zoro. That's literally what's happening in context. So I just gave you a reason via Occam's Razor why mine would be a way better assumption because I'm taking the lesser amount of assumptions in this case while you're trying to assert the value that, hey, what is Herm's... Wait, am I cutting out? No, you're not. You're good. Okay. What the hell? My shit just lied. But I was saying, why does Herms have like this sense of like validity over Viz itself? But I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that if you can prove the translations to be incorrect or some type of falsehood to them, and you're able to assert a value that they're incorrect, so therefore we can claim that this scan is prevalent over the other one. It's not necessarily me saying that. Damn. Hold up. All right. Um, <laughs> This shit is spicy. <laughs> but yeah, it's not it's not necessarily me like stating that the statement is like um I don't know, it's like it's free from error and me trying to appeal to Herms here. I'm just simply saying this is a more accurate translation due to the context of the scene. Mm-hmm. Cause you, you know air can mean air or like air pressure, like within context, like it can be the same thing. Cause air pressure literally is just air. Uh, do you know like the exact chapter or no? Um, uh, I got the Viz. I got the Viz. App. I just want to look it up just to see how Viz translated it. Okay. Um, I'm going. I'm. Two. I'm just doing, like a rough guess. I'm going back. I'm probably like, probably like five hundred around there. What chapter is Zoro versus Kuma? Chapter 485, okay. Um, let me see what this translated it to. Um, you there? Your mic just like buzzed.
Did that um I kind of forgot cuz I literally I saw that fight like I watched that fight such a long time ago. Uh, is that like does that take place in like the beginning, middle or end? The fight like that's uh, does that panel take place like in the beginning, middle or end? Yeah. There, okay, I found it right here. Oh, let me see. Are you like looking for context of the fight or? Oh, you're on mute. <laughs> All right, I'm back, and I found the panel. Okay, which one? Uh, the one that I was looking for that I had like contentions with. I, 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 I haven't even read it yet. I, I'm sending it right now. Yeah, which um, which chapter is it? Um. Okay. Let's see. It's called Pat. Yeah. Had a cannon air the pressure. Air pressure reflected on the same scan you posted as well. So yeah, it's saying deflected at light speed. Like that's what I was like. That's what I was uh, kind of talking yeah, about. Yeah, um, that's that's also what I was referring to on the same panel because uh, you posted the whole thing. Um, do you see where Robin says maybe he's deflecting the atmosphere? Yeah, but she's yeah, like, that's why yeah. that's why a lot of translators when they translate this exact panel, they say like air because atmosphere and like Japanese kanji could also just mean like air. So whenever they say stuff like that, it just doesn't make sense in conjunction with the words that are used. So that's why they translate it on air pressure or there's like a revision of this as uh, this translations. So. So is there anything else um, until I post this like. Oh, what are we going to post? Um, I posted a scan, uh, basically, which is like a calc for Zoro even dodging the attack, which would be like 1.1 times faster than light, where it's essentially just like light speed. Um, I have I have problems with what you said about earlier with uh the whole like Robin statement thing. I think it's like kind of contentious because um there'd be like no real like true answer to like truly mean like what like was from what you're saying is like no the reason the reason why the reason why I asserted that is because Robin says maybe he's deflecting the atmosphere. The whole reason for that proposition, like her even just being skeptical of what's happening, is because she says like the average cannon would have no effect on Frankie. So she thinks that like a regular cannon wouldn't be able to do this. But then Kuma elaborates, he calls it the pad cannon, air pressure deflected at light speed, creating a piercing shock wave. So because the air pressure is deflected at light speed, and I already went over why like light can have mass in one piece. In this case, the air pressure firing at this speed increases something that's so fierce it creates a piercing shock wave, which negates the statement that Robin makes 
when she's questioning the validity of what's happened and saying deflect in the atmosphere. So all this is just proven in context is that literally whenever he's deflecting this attack, it's just moving that fast, which just proves that it's going at light speed. It's really not that hard to understand, but if you want anything else, I can elaborate more. Um, I mean, um, is there, I know the, I mean, the manga is the source material. I'm just wondering what this looked like in the anime. I know that you use the manga as a source material. I don't, I don't think the, like, okay, yeah, the manga is the source material, but the anime for One Piece and the manga are like two separate canons, arguably. So it's like kind of like really a sped argument. But let's see, let me see. Look, even though he was doing anything, so I was breathing that hard. Just what is his ability? Okay, um, I'm like looking at the manga panel right now. It's like it's kind of Wait, hard. Are people <laughs> saying they can't, people are saying they can't hear me in the chat. You can hear me, right? I can hear you fine. Yeah, it might be a Discord thing. <laughs> what the hell? Hold up, bro. I think that's that's y'all. <laughs> like, shit. Hold up, let me let me try. Some people are saying they can hear you. Some people are saying yes, they can hear you. Let me see. So there are people are saying they have to refresh. Um. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, well, if they can't hear me, they need to just get out of McDonald's. I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> Essentially, like I was saying, though, is uh, do you have any other problems with what I posted? Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so I think it wouldn't. I don't think it would really scale to light speed because Zoro's kind of using the uh, the wall to his advantage to like kind of he, like he didn't. He he didn't touch the wall. He just dodged it. The distance that I the distance for the pixel count itself is just based upon the fact that it hit the wall to the angle of like Zoro's face moving away from it. Uh, so, yeah, he didn't, like, touch the hole or, like, use it to maneuver. Also, like, there's, like, a blatant scene, which is pretty funny, where Zoro literally, like, wheezed that shit, like, on some UI type shit. Hold on, let me, let me get it for you. But, yeah, Zoro... I know what you're talking about. I saw that scene in the anime. Yeah, he's a beast, bro. So, yeah, he definitely just scales to it. Um, and it would be, like, a speed of IP. Any other contention before I like continue? We can go on. Okay, so um, you're aware that like um, in one of the data books where like, like, I don't even have to use this because do you think Luffy is stronger or weaker than Zoro up until this point? Um, in the like in, in Thriller Bark and are we was this? Are we, this is Thriller Bark. Yeah, he, this he's, is he's definitely he's definitely like arguably. No, 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 no. I, but I like I would literally like I would. Uh, Okay, wait one second. He, he's definitely arguably stronger, but I was going to say there's literally a data book statement that says they're equal. I just, if you know the statement, I don't feel like looking for it and doing all that stuff. You're aware of it. Like, you acknowledge the existence of it. Um, actually, I'm not going to answer. Actually, I'm not going to okay, answer any shit, questions. Yeah. It, bro. If you want to be difficult, I'll get it. Hold on. No, I'm not gonna, no, no, I'm not going to answer any questions until the debate's yeah. over. Hold on, bro. I got it. I just there, realized there's this there's this one right here. Lily just says that like uh Zoro equals Luffy pre time skip. Um they're like stated to be on par. He has highly equal fighting power as Luffy when the need arises. So yeah, if anything that just says like when the need arises for him to be that strong, he's that strong. So if anything, he might even be weaker. I could argue it, but I just kinda wanna end the debate. So I just say like they're equal at this time. So even if they're equal at this time. Uh, Luffy's speed is directly stated to increase. One second. There you go. That wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't correlate to speed though. But I can see what you mean, like strength wise. Um, they literally keep up with each other in any ways. Like they both scale to like Gecko, Moria. Well, not I'm just, yet. I'm just saying off like this thing right here. Yeah, I'm just saying they're stated to be on power. Whenever they say power in One Piece, it's arguably just speed, anyways. There's like statements that refer to that, but it, it wouldn't matter considering that they both scale to the same characters in the same arc, literally. Uh, but here's this. 
a statement a lot of people don't have. I'm kind of sad I got to give it away to people. Oh, right, here you go. Damn. Some dogs going crazy, bro. I know. I got like fucking four dogs. They're good, bro. Um, here's, here's your scan right here that basically just says that whenever Luffy uses gear second, his speed increases because a lot of people try to do that. Oh, one second. I can't. One second. I gotta, I gotta quiet okay, my dog down. Yeah, one second. Oh, god damn. God damn. One second. Right, bro. Take your time. Hey! Oh, god. Damn, they're going hands, bro. Just... Oh, my god. I can't even hear a word. Oh, my god. Get him. Get him. Get him, Meech. <laughs> bro, people are walling saying old yeller in the chat. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> I'll be right back. I have to go downstairs really quick. All right, they will not stop barking until I go down there and actually yell at them. You're cool. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, well, you know, he's taking care of Sherbrus, the hellhound. Um, <laughs> how's everybody doing? Hey, I used to. Hey, six. Everybody's good. Good, good. Okay. Look at the chat. Everybody's chilling. Okay. Okay. I see a little hater in the comments. Some icebound. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. Six, uh, you left your t shirt at my house the other day. Uh I don't know if you want it if you want it back or Nah. I left that shit there for a reason. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Julius, no Cove, Roger, yo, landing Jacks. I'm doing good, bro. All right, I'm back. All right, but um, yeah, yeah I, I basically, I basically posted a statement. Um, a lot of people don't have, which is from the One Piece Beaver card, because you know people just don't read the series. <clears throat> and say he doesn't have multipliers on his gears. You know, certain dude named after a McDonald's meal, but you know, <laughs> um. It literally says on the scan, like, his speed increased by, like, tens. Um, even then, it literally just, like, implies, like, the base assertion. Luffy literally just gets that much faster. Uh, Am I for... blind? I don't see the multipliers. Do, do you see the scans, two scans I posted? I do. Yeah, those are the t that's The first one is the raw kanji, and then the second one I posted is the translation. Okay. The yeah. speed Ten speed increases. The obstructive power of all techniques has also been greatly improved. Bazooka also breaks through as if it is a gear two. To say, yeah, the word, the translation there is tense. Excuse yeah. me. Uh, excuse me. All right, yeah. Um, did you say, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, yeah. Do you have a way to prove how much it increased? It, just, it says 10 speed increase. Did it say, oh, 10 speeds increase? Okay. What does that even mean? That's not even like, that's not even like proper grammar, 10 speeds. It's, 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 it's a Japanese, bro. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of things that don't like necessarily equate accurately, but the numerical value that's present there is 10. Like, if you want me to, if you like, you, you bare minimum, like, if you want to push this point that, that much, I don't even think it matters because I'll just say it increases. Um, and then, like, obviously, it can increase by any numerical value, but if even if I low end it to like the highest degree, let's say it's 1.25, he's already FTL on top of like his gear fourth literally stating to increase his speed by three times. And then Luffy, like, fourth that stated. Okay, I'll get it for you. Because uh, I don't remember goes. that being stated. One second. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so here's here's the, basically the translation. Uh, damn, why am I in general chat? So, yeah, it's right here. Basically, it literally just says, uh, General, he's hardening his skin with Armin and Hockey and using the tensile force to raise his power several times beyond its limit. 
Um, and the two counters I can already see present, you're either going to try to say, yo, that's his power. It's not like correlated to his speed. The context of why it would be is because it says tensile force, which refers to like the elasticity of like a rubber band, obviously, which is based upon Luffy's powers. Um, as his tensile force increases, the overall ricochet as well as his speed, which increase, which is why like you see Luffy throw those like gear for King Kong guns. And then you can hear like the clicking noise. The ejection as well as elasticity is increasing with the overall power for the attack, increasing it together. And there's other statements, like I said in one piece, that like imply that like power is like in relation to speed a lot of the time, which I can like get if you want. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna need more evidence to back that up because I had the whole, here. I had the whole here you go. Uh, power argument for the gates, and that wasn't yeah. quality. So, one second. Do 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 the whole two of his dot 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 the whole circus, Afro circus, Afro circus. All right, boom, found it already. Yeah, Kizru literally states in Sabodi that speed equals weight within context, and this is One Piece characters that are already beyond light speed and like FTL ranges of speed or MFTL plus, which I'll get into later. But even then, at the bare minimum, like I showed you. Kizaru literally says that in One Piece, when you pass to speed of light, unlike most verses, you're still able to have weight to your attacks, similar to like DC comics or other things. So yeah, your your attacks do have power behind them, and as your speed increases, your weight would also increase, arguably. So yeah, um, there you go. This isn't like the gate argument at all. Um, There's, he's not talking about power though. He's just talking about speed as weight. Yeah, so do you know what weight is? Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> obviously, so, so obviously, so wait, wait, so obviously you had a weight flying in the direction with speed behind it would equal power. Yeah. Yeah, so, so obviously in this context, when Luffy's tensile force, or otherwise known as his elasticity, is increasing, his power would be increasing as long with his speed. If you agree to that notion, then yeah, it would be equal to each that, other. But that would so, okay. So the only contention I have is that that would be under a certain criteria because Zoro doesn't have the capabilities to stretch his body like Luffy. That's, that's okay. You you misunderstood what I was gonna say. Okay, so essentially what I'm doing is I brought up the Zoro feat. Um, I started off like I was gonna scale Luffy. I'm used to taking Luffy, but it's like the same route of scaling because they all scale to the same person, so it doesn't matter. Uh, which you already like we brought up at the beginning of the debate. You're like, yo, you know, Naruto's gonna scale to Sasuke all the time. Zoro is going to scale to Luffy, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, um, in context, Zoro literally just gets faster than the same Luffy, who's already three times. The reason why I said three for the scan is because it says several. Several implies more than two, but it doesn't have to be a higher number than three. So an extreme low ball of it could just be three. It wouldn't matter. Um, this just means that Luffy, uh, Luffy's speed increases by three times, as well as the fact that when he's in gear fourth, but the gear second one, we already just went over why it would be 10. So we already have the calc that puts Zora at speed of light, then these things presented, as well as his gear four statement. And then I didn't even go over like Burn D World, which I already like showed you in the video, like when I replied to you, showing you why it actually is canon, which I can get into unless you, you agree to it now. But uh, there, there definitely is like Zoro scaling to like a character who literally blitzed his the Luffy up until that point. Anyway. I had a problem with the I had a problem uh, with the whole like Burnley Wall thing. Like not even if it's like uh like the whole canonical thing of it, but I had a um, like I had a whole problem with something inside of that movie. Okay. What what was it? You're gonna try to say it's inconsistent for characters to jump up that high? <laughs> yeah, I okay. was gonna say so it's inconsistent the reason... for Luffy to. Yeah, the, the reason uh, the reason why it's not inconsistent is like one piece is like Dragon Ball on crack. Let me like let me give an example. Um, let me. Uh, uh, so we just talked about how like Gear Fourth is like literally like arguably like uh, like I want the colored panel. I don't want to post this. It's ugly. Yo. You know, <laughs> but um, okay, hold up, hold up one second. Let me just get this scan. Let me blitz through my gallery. Shit. Can you can you explain why it's canon? I I literally I know like I know you explain okay. why it's canon. Essentially, I just why it's canon. essentially, essentially, the reason why it's canon is because 
during the time skip, you know how you see, like, I, I don't even know if you've seen One Piece, but, well, like, basically Nami's on Skype, like, you know, the Sky Islands, as well as Usopp on his island, and everybody has their own characterization and development. And the reason why they did 3D2Y, which is in the scan that I showed you when I responded to your video, is essentially because they did not have enough characterization or development for Luffy's character. So basically them, as well as getting Oda's permission to grant and add these things and directly in, and uh, what's the word for it? Um, add an application to Luffy's characterization and as well as give him more developing meaning to like the Red Hawk technique that he finally uses. Um, they added all these things to Luffy's character as well as Oda literally confirming the movie. So, or, or special in this case. There's, all these, there's also a light novel on it as well. And the light novel explains stuff like how Ace got his hockey, even though he's not really good at it. And then the One Piece V cards that Oda literally drops explains Ace having hockey, despite the fact that it's never explained in a manga or illustrated it. But the light novel, as well as the special, kind of confirmed that he learned his hockey. So, so yeah, um, that's yeah. just something that I responded to your video with. But I'm looking for the, the reason why I think that it's not an outlier uh, it's like continue the One Piece thing I was referring to you about. Uh, one second, let me grab this. All right, I need to stop being lame. <laughs> I was going to try to get the colored one just because it looks better, but I don't even care. I need to get the regular one. <laughs> Plus, I can find it fast enough. Um. One second. So, are you familiar with Whole Cake Island? Um, yeah, Whole Cake Island. Yeah, okay. Big Mama. So, yeah. do you know at the beginning of that arc, a Gear 4 Luffy fights Katakuri and gets blitzed, and he gets slapped out of Gear 4 to the part where he has to, like, run away for a long time before he recovers enough strength to even fight him again? Right, um, yeah, I, I'm aware of that. Uh, there was also just one more thing before we proceeded. Uh, I, I, okay, I kind of want to, like, finish with this, though, because it's, like, the argument I was on to, like, show you why it's not... Okay, you can finish with this, but can we go back to something after? Okay, one one second. We can go back after I post this. Okay, yeah, after you post this, yeah. Let me get it. Oh, good. One thing also that's not related to the debate, but I was going to ask you. Okay. Do you think uh, One Piece characters are stronger than Bleach characters? Well, I think they're like, stronger realist than... realistically speaking, or no? Like, no, like, no way. Well, I think they're stronger than Bleach characters. Yeah, like, realistically no, speaking. No, probably not. Okay. Um, one second. Let me get this. That doesn't mean I don't think that they beat Bleach characters. That just means in AP, I don't think they're strong. But uh, let me get this category section. God damn, why's this fight so long? He was beating his ass so fucking long. Okay, here you go. I'll just get a panel. So, um, look in scans chat. Sorry, that took a little while. Um, here you have right here, essentially, Gear Force Luffy can't even react to Katakuri, right? Gear Force Luffy was getting, like, pummeled by a holding back Katakuri, barely with any, wasn't even using an Awakening yet, was, like, arguably holding back the whole time and he doesn't scale to him. Throughout the fight, Luffy gets so much stronger and faster and drastically increases to the point where a base Luffy, despite we were already going over why, a gear two is this much of a multiplier ahead of his base, 
and then a gear fourth is this much above this. We then go into context to find out that a base Luffy supersedes that same, you know, gear fourth transformation and is able to damage him. As well as Katakuri literally stating in context, I no longer assume that you are inferior to me after Luffy earned this respect. And he's looking at him in terms like an equal narratively, despite Luffy scaling to him with these blows and these multiple attacks that he's doing in context. So yeah, Luffy grew in strength drastically as well as speed. And we just discussed why his transformations are multiple times stronger and faster. Um, there's also statements in One Piece, like Zoro literally stating, from island to island, we just grow stronger. And then we have statements like, in the beginning of Wano, you know how like, everybody in the community was clowning on Luffy for getting like, one-shotted and slapped by Kaido? Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally on the rooftop in the beginning of the fight that just happened, Kaido literally states, how did you grow this strong and how did you get this powerful? And then Luffy red rocks Kaido in the mouth, which I'm pretty sure you're aware of despite him getting one-shotted previously. So literally, One Piece characters just jump in terms of, like, multipliers all the time. And they have, like, like you know, Zen Kai boost, bro, and, like, base. Like, they're just like, I don't know, bro. They're just built different. Like, it um, just happens within the scene, unless you can, like, disprove it via context. But it's definitely consistent for One Piece characters to get drastically stronger throughout the series. So You said that uh, Zoro said, like, oh, they get stronger... Um... Yeah, like Zoro, Zoro well, even island, states, island. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's not necessarily saying they don't get stronger within the island. It's just to prove to you that, like, yeah, and sometimes those island trips that they go to are quick as hell. So sometimes they just go to an island, they'll stop and get like uh, they'll be there for a little while. They might fight like a couple of people and dip. It won't even be for a day. So like they just get drastically stronger, as well as the fact that I just showed you Luffy jumping up multiple times in strength and speed and base form, like. He was doing better in his base later into the fight than he did in year four at the beginning of the fight. And this happens continuously throughout One Piece, such as, like, Luffy, Red Rock, and Kaido, and Kaido being like, yo, how did you just, like, jump this far when I was just one-shotting you with the same move, and now you blitz me, let me use more power. Kaido then fights the same Luffy, blitzes him again, right? Luffy then gets up in base and uses advanced conquerors hockey and swaps hands with that Kaido who just blitzed him. So the whole context is I'm not trying to necessitate like a value like you were doing by being like, yo, they get this much faster in blitz differences. All I'm showing you is that they're able to keep up with prior gear transformations and there's base and retain those forms. That's all I have to show you. Okay. So yeah. I say so I, I kind of see what you're saying. Yeah. It, it kind of, is it like kind of like is it kind of like the whole like Goku absorbing God? Yeah, yeah. That, that literally just happens with One Piece. That's why some people were like surprised. They were like, "Yo, why in Whole Cake is Luffy jumping up so drastically? Like in base form, he's like swap hands with Katakuri despite getting a Molly Wop." But I'm like, bro, this literally happened pre time skip. Like Zoro, he fought Daz Bones when like a building fell on him and broke his like literal like. Time, <laughs> and then that. right after that he gets up in one shots and without even using three sword style like he literally just jumped up multiple times in power and speed like it happens all the time so um there was okay so now that we got those points out of the way there's one thing that i had a problem with um okay. so and not that i had like i just wanted you to like uh just drop Explain it Okay. Just drop the hands into it really quick. It was like a point from like a pretty decent long time ago. Uh, okay. Would you just be able to drop the scans of the, like the evidence of the uh, the 3D two the three D two watt? Don't even trip, bro. Um, there you go. Here's here's this, and then I'll get you the interview for it as well. Um, cause one second. I, I linked it to somebody earlier because they they tried my gangster like I don't got this on deck no <laughs> all right yeah there you go um there's the whole interview uh with everything and citations um and then when you go to the citations they have the whole entire website and interview printed out in Japanese kanji uh, which I've like I've definitely translated before. But even if you like doubt it, you can just translate it yourself. It's 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 like all the real thing, like I was saying. So, so yeah. Um, there you go. 
Let me see one sec. Uh, skins. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, and so we exchange ideas amongst each other on how we can make it rival the other. I'm just gonna read this really quick. Okay. So this is an original story. We mainly the producers and scriptwriters thought about it. Yeah, the screenshot I posted directly is the part that's literally in there. Uh, after asking Oda Sensei if he was okay with the idea we had, we got his approval, and since it's appearing on Saturday night prime time, it was decided to make it into a story revolving around Luffy. And then there's also the context in the, the the citations where it's literally like, yeah, they didn't have enough for Luffy. We wanted to add a more of a story and et cetera, et cetera, into his character due to him like missing those stuff. And then they like extrapolate. And then they ask Oda, like, you know, what does he think? He's like, yeah, boom, boom. There you go. Like I just um I'm just sending you a scan right now. Uh it's a link. I mean, I'm pretty sure you've heard of that website before. Um Okay. Uh, if you scroll down, if you click that link and you scroll down a little bit, um, it's just like a rating system for different animes. But if you click on that uh, and you scroll down a little bit, uh, Oda, it, like it really, um, like he's not involved with the movie at all from what it says. Like it's his staff. He's only there just because he's only like listed there just because like he's the original creator of One Piece. But the director that of the that movie change, is. That doesn't change the contents of an interview though. Like, that, that doesn't change the fact that Oda allowed them to edit Luffy's character and add this into it. Like, uh, like we can debate over the definition of, like, canonicity if you want to, but, like, it literally is by definition. Like, canonicity typically, like, originates from, like, religious scripture, just text, um, or it would be, like, what we accept to be in the Bible, and it was, like, things like that. That's kind of, like, the origin from it. But obviously, when it comes to, like, anime power scaling or debating, Typically, canonicity is defined by things that don't necessarily contradict the primary source material, the chronological timeline, or just have some type of publication uh, from the writers that would prove that these things are intricated towards the story. In this case, we have proof that, you know, they were published and allowed to be processed by Oda. There's nothing that contradicts them. In fact, I give you the argument why in the novel, as well as like the ace moment, how they're described uh, you know, ace to have hockey, despite them literally, they literally never say it at all in the One Piece manga that he has arm in it, and the viewers like, yeah, he has it, um, to like literally prove that case, that like, there's obviously some case to where Oda's allowing this publication to go through, there's no contradiction, so, it should be canon. Mm -hmm. Now, film gold isn't canon, that's like an example, like in film gold, Zoro is literally in the movie fighting to Zoro, but literally he's supposed to be in Zao. Like, why is Zoro there if it's after Dopamine? So that's one contradiction. Is, uh, I'm, uh, you said Gold's not canon? Yeah, like, film Gold isn't canon because Zoro is there. Heart of Gold canon? That's not canon, right? You said it's what? Heart of Gold, that's not canon. No, um, a lot of the movies aren't canon besides this one. Uh, another example is like Stampede. Like, Stampede isn't canon, but some of the character, like, designs and, like, arguably characters might be canon, depending on how you argue it. But, like, Oda designed and did the stuff for Bullet as well as his character into the story. Um, and then, like, the design in One Piece Film Z for Aokiji, yeah, that's another example uh, as well for, like, them adding stuff. And, like, Barcelino, the names and the stuff that came from there are canon. So. All right. Well, yeah, it's all good. So, yeah, I mean, I've already kind of showed the scaling for the character. Like, do I need to go over durability mitigation, or do you already agree that he has it? Uh, I know he has a, I know he has durability mitigation, like, to, an, old, to an extent. Okay. okay. So, um, essentially, I'll give the same durability, like, during that argument I give to, like, you know, normal people. I just tell people that, like, Kaido can resist uh, Law's counter shock as well as Big Mom. Um, Law's Gamma Knife is present over his counter shock ability because we see him Gamma Knife Doflamingo, which I'm pretty sure you're aware of. And then yeah, Doflamingo's insides get so messed up, this dude's like stitching his body apart, which is why when some people argue Gear 4 with Luffy fought Dofi and beat him, you can actually argue Dofi was stronger than Gear 4 with Luffy. It's just that he was injured. That's an argument a lot of people aren't aware of. 
Um, but in context, it wouldn't even matter due to the fact that Gamma Knight was still supposed to be weaker than level two Rio, which is just level two um, uh, Arminate Hockey, which Luffy uses against Kaido to punch him. And then obviously that doesn't do enough damage. And then we see Zoro, who uses its advanced conquerors and is able to scar Kaido, doing incredible damage, which is way above all these different levels of Duranag. So there's like multiple levels of Duranag uh, that they have resistance to. And then Zoro is just above that. So, yeah. Alright. Um, Is there anything else? Um, I mean, I, 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 you just dropped the scan for that just because, I mean, I even like. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I've spent like a while. And, yeah, I can, I can get the scan for all of it. Um, that's, that's like, you know that, like, I know, like, yeah, the game and stuff and shit. Just like, uh, the whole Kaido shit. Okay, one second. Uh,. Um, here you go. All right, let me see. Yeah, so Luffy, this is the what I was talking about of how like cracked One Piece characters are. So this is Luffy after literally beating the shit out of like base Kaido with his bare hands, like and just like a red rock to his jaw, and he was like. Uh, he's like, yeah, this in this. Well, no, no, this is this is advanced conquerors. Well, my fault. Wrong scan. Wrong scan. One second. One second. Here you go. Here's the red rock scan. Boom. Yeah. So here is Luffy literally just beating the hell out of Kaido uh, with red rock, um, and he does this despite getting one shotted by Kaido later in a gear four transformation, uh, and he's able to actually damage Kaido. There's also this scene right here, which I can get for you. Isn't that wasn't this like a way though for like him to like uh become more deadly without like the variations of his gears? Wasn't that like the whole purpose of his training? Where like, no, um, he just like okay, so while in Udon and he's like lifting heavy blocks as well as just getting stronger and faster, um, he's training his advanced arm in hockey, of course, but as a by process, he's literally like training, so he's getting faster and stronger. So he did just get faster and stronger as well as him getting during egg. But all these scans right here of just like Luffy literally just beating the shit out of Kaido and injuring him. So yeah, here here you go. Like here's Luffy um just doing what you asked for. He's literally just damaging Kaido, uh as well as the fact that he wasn't able to before. This actually does more damage in context than like the Gammonize and Counter Shocks Law does. Let me see. Law versus Big Mom. My folder. Please tell me it shows up. I saved it. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, God. I gotta go to the chapters? No. All right. I can look it up too if you want. Just look up uh, law. No, I got it. Um, I just have to go to the chapters directly. Bro, I just got an ad for Gamefly. I didn't even know that was a thing still. <laughs> oh, shit. One second, man. I'll try to speed this up. So you just want to scan for like uh the law thing? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Load, load, load. Damn, is all so clean in this panel? Okay, I see it right here. Um, 
probably yeah, gonna happen. That's, that, that, no, that's the same thing that you said. I thought it was something new. No. I found it then. It'll be 1002, I think. That feels weird to say. Bruh. <laughs> well, my internet bugging. <laughs> Let me get this. Okay. <laughs> Need to remember to save these. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, so here's log gamma hyphen uh Kaido. It's in the scan strat right now. now it's loading. So yeah, after he gets body slammed by like Kid and the rest of them. Uh, he literally just gets hit with Gamma Life and he screams. He's like, ah. Um, and then he literally counter shocked at uh, Big Mom previously to this. So it's like very consistent uh, that his, his Dura Neg attacks just are insignificant in comparison to like Luffy's. And then obviously you have context for things like, um, you know, this Zoro doing more damage. And I can show you that here. Here's like base Zoro doing more damage. Okay, that wasn't funny, Valor. <laughs> Bird. Um, here's base Zoro doing more damage than what Luffy did, and this is just base, so this is again another level of it. And then here's Ashura Zoro when Ashura Zoro uh, essentially just uses this advanced levels of Conqueror Taki, um, that again is another layer above what Zoro was just previously forming at. Uh, and I'll post the whole entire the beautiful colored panel for that, but yeah, here's uh Zoro doing that, so yeah, it's just consistent for um. One Piece characters to have these multiple levels of Duranag above it, um, as well as the fact that he blitzed this hybrid Kaido too, mind you, who was like blitzing Luffy, slapping him around. So yeah, um, that's kind of my win condition. I uh, went over the Duranag as well as why he's like multiple times faster than Might. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, I really have to say. <laughs> so. Are we done here? Do you like concede or do you want to bring up anything else? I mean, there's more points I can bring up, but I literally, I, <laughs> I have like such a bad headache right now. I don't even have the energy to debate anymore right now. I mean, um, I mean, I guess like one argument I can make is that uh, you'd have to prove that durability negation uh, could work. Zoro's durability negation could work on someone as strong as Sasuke because I could scale Sasuke higher than uh, Kaido in terms of durability. Okay, that, that's not the... That's, uh, okay, so um, essentially with Duraneg, the point of durability negation is to negate conventional durability. So obviously if a character is like planetary and you're like, I don't know, country level and you have an attack that's able to damage your insides, you can still scale to them via virtue of that. In fact, Luffy is a character who is nowhere near half the strength of Kaido and is still able to use Dura Negation on Kaido. And so is Zoro and so is other people in the series. Like, the difference is because, like, when you're using Durability Negation, um, essentially what they're doing with, like, Advanced Rio or just Conqueror's Hockey, um, Hockey is literally just, like, spiritual energy. So they're attacking you with spiritual energy inside of your organs, and your organs don't scale to your regular Durability especially when they're being exploded from the inside out. So, yeah, like, it, it doesn't really matter um, in contract, <laughs> considering the fact that they're able to damage characters who are massively stronger and faster than them, as well as the fact that it's literally just, like, spiritual hacks, in a sense.
Yeah. Um, I mean, I there's always like um extensive like durability negation for what I've known. I mean, yeah. You can have an, a, a, a good example of an extent. Um, okay, so you know how I just went over how Kaido has like resistances to it. Um, that would be an example, but they would have to be proven to have like this resistance. And then even then, if you have higher levels of it, which I showcase, you would be able to damage them. Like Kaido has resistance to Durnag despite him arguably being like higher into planetary or all these metrics of power that I could get into, but that's not even necessary for the debate because I all I have to do is prove like he's just massively faster and could just like out hatch your character so so in context obviously i already demonstrated to you why zoro would be able to negate the conventional durability so um there's really no need to like no, yeah. more. yeah no, uh, okay. there. I'll, I'll, um you know yeah i'll just concede gg right. good good debate bro um yeah in the meantime right i i'm gonna need my stuff back bro what stuff my uh noble's team purchase clock yeah my account got disabled bro. what did you do oh, hold on check check the okay <laughs> oh i can't even but yeah good, uh good shit are you gonna um are you gonna make just, just turn your dms on, on it 